Punk is not dead in Myanmar. Rare scenes from this isolated country ruled by a strict military regime. But you won't find any openly anti-establishment messages here. For many of these fans, this concert, and being a punk, is more about freedom of expression. At home I don't care about anyone. I don't care about my neighbours. As a punk, I do whatever I want. But actually recording music involves tangling with the authorities. Rock group Outsider are working on a first album, and that means they must submit all their song lyrics to the censors. If I want to write something about freedom, if I want to write about the things I want, I can't write it directly. If I want to show something that represents the Myanmar people, not just me personally, there's no way I can do it. If I write that, it becomes political. Outsider don't see themselves as trailblazers for democracy. Like groups everywhere, they sing about being young, having relationships and making music. But they can't mention cigarettes, alcohol or anything else the census deem doesn't conform to the country's values. We do as much as we can, but we don't try to change politics. In our heads, we are musicians. For observers, such reluctance to play politics is a legacy of the system. Young people have been brought up to believe that politics is dangerous and by being political they are asking to be locked up, they are asking to lose their job opportunities, they are asking to be tortured and killed. The punk concert comes to an end. Some people throw bottles, try to tear apart the stage and destroy posters. Not for any political reason. They, like fans after concerts all over the world, are simply angry the band didn't play an encore. <laughs>